A quick video to open some New York Comic Con packages. What's up everybody? I'm Tylock and this is Homespun Geek. What's going on guys? Like I said, this is going to be a probably quick video. There may not be spinners at the end of this because I'm kind of in a hurry just trying to make sure I get a video up for Monday, uh, which is when hopefully this is going to air. Uh, New York Comic Con packages, there are one, two, three, four, five packages here. That doesn't seem quick, but I'm pretty sure there's only one thing in each of these boxes. Uh, so we're going to get them open. Three of them are from Amazon. Two of them are from Target. Uh, shipping varies with Target and Amazon. I have had good packages. I have had destroyed packages. So I guess we are about to find out exactly how good it is. Um, now I did already do a New York Comic Con video Friday, I believe, where I opened up my FYE and my Hot Topic boxes. FYE shipping was not good. Uh, two damage pops. Hot Topic, of course, as always, knows how to ship pops. They ship them in sorters, so everything came fine. So, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. This is from Target, or Target, however you like to say it. Uh, there is Bullseye on the front. The back was Bullseye's butt. But, man, this box is, like, faded. as It's like there was a sticker here, and somebody tore it off. And it uh, wasn't us, because the shipping sticker, guys, is right here on the top. See? Uh, but yeah, it was like there's a sticker that it was on the side and somebody tore it off because half of this box is missing. Uh, very interesting. But uh, I wasn't originally going to order anything from Target, but then at the last minute I decided there were actually two things that I really wanted from Target, so I went ahead and bought those. Um, so let us get this open. Hopefully Target shipped well. I've had boxes from Target in the past that have been fantastic, and I've had boxes from Target in the past that have been terrible. Uh, but we will see how this one is. All right. It looks like it might, for the most part, be okay, guys. This is the Sand Trooper, New York Comic Con Sand Trooper. I really, really liked this pop a lot when I looked at it online uh, because of the extra detail in giving him the sand like damage on his uh, armor as well as on his rifle, his blast or plasma rifle or whatever you want to call that. Um, but yeah, there is a little slight damage, but mostly it is, I don't think it had anything to do with shipping to be honest with you. It feels like this side of the box is puffed out a little bit. It might have to do with the plastic insert inside. Uh, if so, that is fixable. Uh, and then I can put it in a pop protector and it'll really keep it keep it well done. But yeah, there is the Sand Trooper. I really like the detail on this Sand Trooper. Uh, I will have to say that the glams that I saw online, there was a lot more detail on the armor um, than there was than there is on, on the actual pop here. Basically, now on this one, his armor just kind of looks yellowed a little bit. Um, I will, maybe I'll put them on these spinner guys. I don't know. If I do, awesome. If I don't, I apologize. I'm just kind of at a, in a rush here uh, because I just wanted to make sure I get a video up for you guys today. Uh, but uh, there you go, guys. That is the Sand Trooper from Target. I really do think that's a cool pop, though. I really think that's a cool idea, making his battle armor and his rifle sand uh, like damaged with some sand on the on the gun and on the armor. Um, yeah, I really like that one a lot. I think that's pretty cool, guys. So let's move on. Let's keep with Target. This, guys, is a much larger box. There is Bullseye in a truck delivering packages, I would guess, or just trying to get the heck away from Target. Uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. There he is on the other side as well. I don't know why I show you guys that. It's, on, this is pretty much the same in all of these boxes. So, uh, but just in case anybody's never seen it before, Target ships in cute little packages with bullseye on them. Uh, so, all right, guys. So my one big issue with Target shipping, guys, is this bubble wrap that they use. Um, this looks like it came in in good, good shape. Before I show you guys that, this bubble wrap here is extremely hard. I mean, it's it's a very hard bubble wrap. It's not like a soft, They, it's probably machine filled. Well, I guess all, all bubble wrap is probably machine filled with the air, but 
very hard and sometimes they completely unwrap it just like they did with this one and when they go to close the box because that give has no give that bubble wrap has no give it crushes the pops that are inside the box and they seem to not understand that uh, but this one does seem like it came in good shape uh, it is from the Dark Crystal, it is the two-pack, the Heretic, and the Wanderer. This is the first Dark Crystal pop that I have bought uh, because I think this one is actually flipping awesome. Um, I would highly, if you guys like Jim Henson, if you can, if you can watch a show that's got puppets and it's all puppets, uh, then I would highly, highly suggest you guys watch the Dark Crystal: Age of Resistance on Netflix. This show is so good. Uh, we've already finished it. It is amazing. Um, I really wasn't going to buy any of the pops, and then they just they made these, and I thought, well, I really like those a lot. The Wonder is a really cool pop. Uh, the Heretic is a very cool character. Um, I'm probably going to end up having to buy the rest of these because I do really like this show a lot. Um, I'm a big fan of anything Jim Henson. Anything Jim Henson, I'm a big fan of, guys big big fan of Jim Henson uh, and so the Dark Crystal was a movie that I loved as a child and it is awesome that they made this TV show uh, I also really like the Labyrinth guys I love the Labyrinth we have all the Labyrinth pops here um, just a big fan of the Labyrinth I really like it a lot Dark Crystal I'm a big fan of the Muppets anything Muppets I have watched because I love the Muppets uh, but yeah I think it's just a puppetry thing I really like I don't know if it is or not because there are some things that are puppets that I just can't stand and don't want to have anything to do with. Uh, but pretty much Jim Henson puppets. Anything that's Jim Henson, I just really, really like and appreciate. Uh, but yeah, Dark Crystal, this is an awesome two-pack, guys. These are awesome characters. Uh, I think you'd be surprised by if you watch the show. They're actually kind of like different than what you would expect. Uh, the Wanderer and the Heretic. Um, really, really cool. I'm probably tempted now to buy the metallic hunter on the funko shop and mira on hot topic which was the san diego comic-con pop it didn't sell out because i don't think a lot of people have watched the dark crystal but that's good for me so i can go back and buy it if i want to uh all right guys amazon three boxes from amazon should be one pop in each box because i ordered all of them separately uh i didn't order them all at the same time i ordered them separately because i didn't want them shipped together because i you know sometimes i feel like when things are shipped together they're shipped way worse than if they ship them by themselves uh but yeah i know you pay a little bit more for uh shipping but i really don't care guys uh i would much rather my pops come in in good shape this is the piece de resistance this was my number one want guys from New York Comic Con. Right, I'm just looking, looking to make sure he's okay. Dwight with the Dwight bobble head. This will help go towards completing my office set. Yeah, there you go, guys. Dwight with the bobble head of himself. Uh, very flippin' awesome. I actually believe that Angela is the one who gave him that bobble head uh, of himself. I, I may be wrong about that, but I watched the show several times, so I think that I'm right. It's Angela gave him that bobble head of himself but yes that is an awesome pop i am super excited to get this one for the collection i'm very glad that this came in in good shape because no sorter no bubble wrap nothing to protect this at all it was just in that box loose so yeah very lucky that it came in in good shape guys there actually believe it or not is a well you can barely see it it's really not that big a deal there's a little bit of a crease on the back but it's it's not really visible and you guys aren't going to be able to see it but yeah that's that's really good that it came in in decent shape guys so i really like that pop a lot that is an awesome version of dwight the office guys the office if you guys haven't seen the office you don't know what you're missing out on it's a really funny show uh all right next up guys next up also from amazon i know what i bought but i don't know which pop is in which box obviously uh, so here we go. Oh, this one actually came in a sorter. Unlike Dwight, this one came in a sorter, guys. So that's weird. Some of their New York Comic Con pop, or yeah, New York Comic Con pops, they sent in sorters, and some they just didn't. So that is really ridiculous, I think, guys. Tell me what you think. I, I feel like they should be shipping these con exclusive pops that they have exclusives for in a better in better packaging. 
Uh, there you go, guys. That is Creepy Benson from Toy Story 4. Um, we definitely had to have this pop because Toy Story 4 was a pretty great movie. Uh, we really liked Benson a lot. Uh, Gabby Gabby. We have all of the exclusives for the Toy Story 4 films uh, or film, but uh, we don't have any of the commons. Even though I do have to say Duke Kaboom and Combat Carl are kind of on my short list of pops that I'd like to go ahead and grab because they didn't make exclusive versions of them. Uh, we do have, the only common that we have from this set is the Alien, right? Yeah, that's the only common we have from this set is the Alien. We have the exclusive Buzz from Amazon, the exclusive uh, Woody from whoever that was from. Barnes & Noble had the Bo Peep. There was a Flocked Bunny and Ducky that we got. There was a GameStop Forky that we got. There was a Gabby Gabby that we got. Uh, and then, oh, we bought Jesse too. So we bought Jesse and the Alien. Those are the two commons we bought. But all everything else was the exclusives. So we don't have Duke Kaboom and we don't have Combat Carl. But now we have Benson, the creepy ventriloquist dummy, who reminds me of the ventriloquist dummy from Goosebumps quite a bit. Uh, am I wrong? I mean, he looks just like the, the dummy from Goosebumps. So, uh, But there you go, guys. Benson. Here's a little bit of a spoiler. There are actually multiple Bensons in that movie. Uh, really, really creepy. Really, really awesome. You guys should watch Toy Story 4. I'm sure a lot of people have watched Toy Story 4, but if you haven't, pretty great movie. Uh, all right, here we go, guys. This is the last one from Amazon. Hopefully it is what I think it is. Hopefully it came in in good shape. Again, guys, this one came in in a sorter, so that's a little weird. Two of them came in sorters and one of them didn't. My number one won't didn't come in a sorter, so there's a giant risk of damage because no sorter. This one is, guys, Mr. Tony Stark, or Iron Man as we like to call him, uh, with the gauntlet, guys. Uh, that is the New York Comic Con, Iron Man with the gauntlet. Very, very cool pop. I know this was on the short list of pops that everybody was wanting from Endgame. Not quite what everybody wanted. I think everybody wanted him on his knees right when he snaps. Because, I mean, at the end of the movie when he has the uh, the gauntlet on his iron suit, he has been through some stuff. You know, he's got some blood on him. He's pretty dirty. Uh, that's how they should have made this pop, I think. But, yeah, I still am glad that they finally made it. I just feel like they kind of copped out on making it just kind of a clean, s smooth Tony Stark with the jewels on his hand that's really all it is guys they just really put they just put like a couple of little things on his hand that's it um i do like the pop though guys i like it i just feel like they could have made this better uh but yeah there you go guys so that's it really amazon and target haul we have three amazon pops here we have benson dwight and iron man uh those are the ones from amazon and then from target guys we have the sand trooper and we have the Dark Crystal 2-pack. Very, very cool. Guys, I will say again, if you have not seen Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, you should 100% go watch Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Uh, I think it is absolutely amazing what they can do with puppets. I think the art artistry in putting them together and the backgrounds and the worlds that they create, just absolutely amazing. If you just want to see something that's beautiful, well made you can tell people put their passion and their heart and their soul into go watch dark crystal age of resistance i'm telling you it is really really a good show a really great show um i don't even necessarily i would say that dark crystal is probably even though i've always liked it and i own it and i've watched it a million times it's probably on the low end of the shows from Jim Henson that I enjoy. I, Muppets is my number one. Labyrinth is my number two. Dark Crystal's down here. I also really love Fraggle Rock. I even love Sesame Street, guys. I even love Sesame Street from when I was a kid, when it was Cookie Monster and Grover and Big Bird and Burton Ernie and all those guys, Oscar the Grouch. Uh, I love Sesame Street. Not a big fan of Elmo, but I do love Sesame Street a, a lot, you know, so, uh, but yeah, when I was a kid, I watched a lot of Sesame Street. Maybe that's where this love for Jim Henson started from, I don't know. Uh, the Muppet Show from the late 70s was amazing. I loved it. Uh, I have it all on DVD, so I watch it all the time. Uh, there was a talk show called Muppets Tonight 
that you cannot find anywhere on DVD, video, anything. I wish that they would release it. I really wish they would release it because I would love to watch it. I think you can watch it on YouTube maybe. But I would love to have it on DVD or even just on like digitally like on Voodoo or something. But anyway guys, that's it. Sorry about that. I just want to make sure you guys know Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Really, really great. Really great. I loved it more than I thought I was going to love it because I've always, like I was going to say, Dark Crystal was kind of down here for me. But that show was terrific, guys. Just so beautifully done. So, but anyway, guys, that's something that I wanted to say there. Hope you guys liked this video. I may or may not do the spinners. I don't know. I don't really have a lot of time today to do any more filming. So, if I have time to film it before I post this video, then there might be spinners. But I don't know for sure. If there's not, I apologize. And let me know if you want to see them up close. I'll take pictures of them and put them on Instagram. So uh, that's really it, guys. As always, I am Tylock. This is Homespun Geek. And I hope you have a nice day.